As police departments across Atlanta struggle to hire officers, the Roswell Police Department is suddenly the exception. For the first time in 20 years, they are now fully staffed. Not a single opening. Atlanta News First, Rachel Aragon is in Roswell with the secret to how they've beaten the odds. We have shown uh, salary will attract well-qualified officers. Roswell Police Chief James Conroy says the department hired 36 officers in the last year at a time where hiring law enforcement has proved difficult nationally. We did not lower our standards at all during this. So how did Roswell PD get fully staffed? And one of the top thing out of everybody's mouth was public safety. The city made officer recruitment and retention a top priority at the beginning of 2022. In July, City Council passed a best-in-class police pay, providing a 20% increase in starting salaries and raising salaries for current officers. It's great for the city of Roswell. We're attracting well-qualified officers to our city, but we also do need to think about the state. Police departments across Metro actively trying to attract applicants, many offering incentives like sign-on bonuses and take-home cars. There's a large disparity, especially across Georgia and how police officers are paid. Um, there's certain efforts underway statewide now to try to bring those numbers up. One of those efforts laid out in this recent state house study, representatives recommending law enforcement agencies implement a $56,000 base salary and create an optional statewide law enforcement retirement system. In Roswell, a population of about 92,000, Chief Cronroy says they're starting to fill the benefits firsthand of a full staff. Now we have more detectives who can investigate crimes and in the long run make Roswell safer and make Georgia safer. Rachel Aragon, Atlanta News First. And of the 36 new police officers in 2022, 23 come with prior experience and 11 of the 36 new hires are women.